So uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll start with the configuration from sales and distribution. Okay. So from sales and distribution related configuration, uh, normally what happens is if you go to just one. So uh, I'm 60. When I will take one of the material in the system. Okay, so if you take any material, when you take any product, okay, so if you go to MM02, go to quality management view, so normally you will be activating the inspection type. You will be activating the inspection type. Okay, so for uh, sales, we'll be activating the, the if, the, if it is returns from the customer, we'll be activating the inspection type 06. Anyhow, all these indicators will come from the inspection type, which we discussed yesterday. Now, another one is if you want to do the inspection during delivery, delivery, then you will be activating the inspection type 10. Okay, so these inspection types, anyhow, will come from the respective inspection types. Okay, so that is the, uh, for uh, uh, customer during the sales and production so that's the uh, inspection types you'll be getting from the inspection type so if you go to the configuration go to quality inspection inspection lot creation inspection types okay so if you go to 10 here you will have that inspection types so over here okay so this is the one the, the inspection types where you use this one and the customer returns 06 these are the ones okay so now that is the uh, standard uh, standard configuration we'll be using for sales and distribution now coming to the configuration of inspection with physical samples okay so inspection with physical samples the configuration normally you'll be doing is so the configuration you'll be doing for uh, physical samples is sample management you go to sample management here define physical sample sample types okay so if you go here okay so these are the physical sample types here when you are creating the physical sample you maintain the sample type so go to logistics go to quality management go to quality inspection sample management physical sample create when you are creating the physical sample Okay. okay you will give the physical sample type here here this uh, so these physical sample types will come from here will come from here okay so if you select the first one you go inside details so here you will be maintaining the respective data so basically this is how you maintain the data for the sample type so this is the physical sample type now the next one will be number range so when you are creating the physical samples when you are creating the physical samples it will have a number right it will have a number it will generate a number let's say if i create it any material if i give plant thousand Okay, so when I give it, when I save it, it will generate a number. See, it is it, it is generating a number. 
Okay, so this number range, we will put it over here. We will put it over here. Number range is for physical samples. This is the one. Okay, so this is the number ranges. Number ranges, that's what. Okay, so this is the one. Intervals. Okay. So now the next one will be the define physical sample container. So if you go to the sample, if you take this sample, if you go to change mode, <coughs> if you go inside, there will be a sample container, sample quantity, sample container. This is a sample container. So the sample containers, the sample containers will come from here, physical sample container. These are the ones. If you want to create a new one, you can create it. This is just for a information purpose. Okay, it doesn't have any technical importance. Okay, now the next one will be sample category. Sample category, that's okay, sample category. And the other one is define uh, physical sample locations. Define physical sample locations. So if you go here, let me enter some quantity here. Okay, physical sample location. So here, sample locations are there. These locations are there, storing location, sample location, where you are keeping it. Okay, so that is defined over here, physical sample locations. These are maintained at plant level. Okay, so these are the locations. These will come from here. If you want a new one, you can put it over here. This is again for information purpose. It doesn't have any technical importance. So in the sample management, normally you will be making uh, this kind of configuration. Okay. If at all you use sample management functionality. Okay. Now the other, uh, now coming to the configuration of calibration inspection. Calibration inspection, you will do only one, one configuration. That is, you assign inspection type, inspection type 14 to the uh, PM calibration order. PM calibration order. Calibration order. This is the configuration normally you will do. Okay. So if you go to the configuration, let me close everything. Okay. So here, if you go to the configuration, inspection lot creation. Here you are able to see define inspections in plan maintenance. Here only one configuration you will do. Okay, so if you see, if you go to our plant which we are using 1000, enter. See, this is the order type. See, inspection type 14 is assigned to the order type PM06. This is the only configuration you will be doing. Okay, this is the only configuration we will be doing for the calibration inspection. Okay, now quality management with batches, with batches, automatic batch violation with QM. Here, the configuration we will be doing is uh, in the plant settings. If you go to the QM in basic settings, if you go to the basic settings, go to these maintain settings at plant level. If you go to 1000 plant, <coughs> okay, so that automatic batch violation with QM if you want to work it, so here you need to activate this indicator, batch valuation, batch valuation without material specification, this you need to activate, okay, that is the only configuration you will do for this functionality, okay, now coming to the recurring inspection, recurring inspection there is no separate Configuration is not required. Only thing is in the material master, you need to activate that inspection type. If you go to the material master, for this material, let's say you want to do recurring inspection, then that particular inspection type you need to activate. That is the only uh, master data and there is no separate configuration is required. Recurring inspection. Okay. There is a Continue. This is the one you can do. Okay. Now I'm saving this. OK, 
okay now the next one will be the quality certificates so in the quality certificates the only configuration we will be doing is okay quality certificates if you go to quality certificates you define certificate types you define certificate types right so here you will define the certificate type these are the certificate types. Of course, you won't maintain any data here. Only thing is you will assign a status profile to it. If at all you want any status profile. That's all. This is the certificate profile. Okay. Certificate type. When we are creating the certificate uh, uh, profile, that time will be, what do you say? Uh, if you go to quality certificates, I'll show you that. Just wait. Close everything. Quality certificates. If you go to First, we'll create certificate profile. When we are creating the certificate profile, we give the certificate type. We give the certificate type. So these certificate types will come from here. Come from here. These are the certificate types. If you want to create a new one, you will be creating a new one. That's all. Okay. So that is the that is a normal configuration you will do. Other than this maintain form, all those things, it will come from here. Data origin, characteristics, values. And when you when you are creating when you are creating the certificate uh, profile, when you are going inside, when you are going inside, if you are creating the certificate profile, P U N E Puneet underscore test, Puneet underscore test certificate type. Let's say if I use E21, okay, maintain form here, and then when you go here, accept lots. When you go to here, characteristics overview. Here, all these origins data. See result selection, result selection. How many are there? One, two, three, and then this results origin. These ones, all these things, these things will come from here. This is the one. This is the uh, result value origin. Okay, and then uh, origin of character specification. See these ones. So all these things will come from here will come from here okay so that is the that is how you will do the configuration for the certificate profile most of the time we will be using standard configuration we will not be doing any any new configuration over here so that is a quality certificate if at all you are printing from uh, standard uh, transactions okay next one is the quality control so quality control only configuration you will be doing is Uh, in, uh, other configuration you will be doing in the quality control is control chart type so when you are when you are creating the sampling procedure when we are creating the sampling procedure qdv1 qdv1 When you're going to here you have control chart types uh, there right these control chart types so these control chart types will come from here okay if you go to quality control sorry not here go to quality planning okay basic data sample spc statistical process control you go here here you go to statistical process control define control chart type here define control chart type so you will have all the control chart types here you will get that screen see all these control charts okay if you want to see the control chart data or something then you select it you select it and then you go to details so this is a okay and, if, uh, and in the control charts you can have more than two tracks two tracks tracks kind of thing then you go you have the tracks now if you want to see the data of each track select the track and then again go to details that you will show. So when when you when you get the control chart, if you want upper limit, lower limit to be displayed, then you will select this kind. Always show limits. So those kind of configuration you will be doing it. Most of the time you will be using standard configuration. You will not be making any fresh configuration here. Okay, that is the control charts. That's all. Other than this, you won't do any much configuration. And coming to another another configuration is this SPC criteria. 
okay so when when we are going to the when we go, when we are assigning this characteristics to the uh, this thing you have the spc criteria right if i go back let me, let me come out of it okay when we go when we are uh, trying to uh, uh, out generate the control charts there will be we will be maintaining the spc criteria this spc criteria for which combination you want to generate the control chart that spc criteria we will be uh, generating in the we will be creating in the configuration taking a lot of time hmm. so these are the SPC criteria are there right so that for which combination you want to generate the uh, control chart so this SPC criteria you can create if you want any new one so those things will come from here you define SPC criteria this is the one this is the one these are the ones here if you select let's say master inspection characteristics and material let's say if you go inside so this ultimately this function module will do the activity okay so this is the one so you have to if you want to create a new one you have to gen you have to first create a function module and then that function module you have to assign to a your new spc criteria but most of the time we'll be using the standard ones only okay i uh, normally they don't create new spc criteria or something the standard ones will suffice your requirement okay so that is the configuration normally you will be doing for statistic quality control okay now coming to the quality notifications this, uh, this is where you do uh, much of the configuration the quality notification so when you are creating the quality notification the configuration you will be doing is you will be doing like this so if you go to the configuration quality notification okay so overview of notification time if you go here This is the one. This is the one. Plus. So if you, if at all you want to create a new notification, okay. Let's say uh, L1 notification is there. Notifications are there, right? Mm -hmm. So when you are creating the notification, suppose let's say I'm creating QM01. Okay. So let's say I'm taking the notification type, notification type uh, Q2. Let's say Q2 I'm taking. The moment you enter. Okay, you get this screen. That's okay. Now you will be getting these tabs, right? Reference object tab, subject tab, processing tab. These tabs you are getting, right? Uh, these tabs you can configure as per your requirement. Which tabs you require? So if you go to the configuration, what is the notification type we are using there? Q2. So if you go to the Q2, Q2. Okay, so if you go here, Okay, so this is the header. This is the header. Okay, so this is the header. This is the header. This one. And then first you got the initial screen, right? So when you when you're when you're clicking on enter, you got the initial screen, right? Uh, this screen is because of this. Object for vendor fault list and patch. This is the one. 
okay now the other screens when you go inside let's say 2016 enter okay when you go here you are getting these tabs right so these tabs will come from here okay so these tabs are here what is the first tab reference object first tab is the reference object so if you, this is the tab so if you if you if you go select this tab and if you go details you will get the subscreens tabs subscreens so this is the first what is the subscreen reference documents reference documents okay next what is the one reference object reference object okay then of course note on related objects when you create same notification for the same vendor same batch then you will get that note on related or notifications you will get okay now the next one is organization data next one is the work center so so in the tab whatever subscreens you want you can maintain as per your requirement so this is the subscreens so you you can configure as per your your requirement the subscreens you can configure see 040 it is there suppose now let's say if i remove this 055 if i remove this 055 from here okay the screen i don't want this one i don't want this work center i don't want here okay then you remove that work center screen now you see what will happen and this uh, reference object is a you know, tab header i want to change it the description here it is coming as reference object i want to commit as general data let's say i want to commit as general data g n e n e general data okay let's see now see what will happen now that uh, work center screen will go sub screen will go and tab header will ca come as general data now i am saving this okay now i am saving this and now you see what will happen so when i go and go back and create quality notification again enter see what happened now the tab name got revised to general data and now that work center sub screen is missing okay so these tabs and the sub screens we can define as per our requirement okay no abap required okay but of course the fields in this sub screens will come automatically based on that sub screen you select here based on the sub screen you select suppose let's say reference object sub screen is selected 005 automatically that fields will come that is what uh, you can configure as per your requirement now i will not change the uh, initial configuration i will use as it was reference objects okay so this is a one let's say this that is not required okay so this is the one okay so let's go back so now these are the screens arranged are you able to see reference objects first one next what is the one subject subject screen now in the subject if you go to the details you will have next screens see subject and long text quantities and dms links so now if you go here subject quantities next sub first sub screen is subject next sub screen is quantities next sub screen is link documents so in that manner you will arrange so you select the first initial tab and in that you will you will arrange the screen areas okay so this is how it will work so you can you can maintain the tabs next tab is processing next tab is processing processing okay so in the processing tab if you go here select the tab go to details see these are the ones processing and contact person processing that is nothing but execution and then the other one is contact person so in the tab you will you will choose as per your requirement your sub screens that's what okay so this is the one next one is dates then items tasks and all everything will come okay so this is the one this is how the uh, screen the layout uh, the the tabs and sub screens are defined in the system okay so this is the first configuration you will design in the system okay now the next one will be your catalogs so if you go to q2 now catalogs and catalog profiles if you go here this is the catalog profile so when you are when you are entering the values here let's say you will go to it let's go to subject here if you go to coding if you go to coding all these are coming right here all these values now, this comes from catalog profile this comes from catalog profile if you go here so this is a catalog profile in that coding is there in that coding is there d coding is d catalog so all those uh, you maintain in that codes and code groups will appear over here 
So in this catalog profile, if you see this catalog profile, if you want to see this catalog profile, go back. There everything will be maintained in the catalog profile. So just go back. Now, if you go here, notification creation, notification content. Okay. So define catalog profile. If you go here, so that catalog profile will be there. So first you will create the catalog profile and then that you will assign it to the quality notification type. Okay. So this is the catalog profile. So if you go to this catalog profile, okay, now go to the catalogs and code groups. So for the coding, see everything is assigned. Star means all, all code groups with catalog type 2 will be selected. That is why here everything is coming. If you go here, here all are coming. All are coming. That is the, that is the reason why. They maintained all star means all. So you create a catalog profile that you will assign to the notification type. Okay, that, that you will assign to the notification type. That, that's the configuration you do. Maintain catalogs here. You maintain catalogs. Of course, this is nothing but master data. Coding is which one? Coding is D. Okay. So here you go. Of course, this catalog types. Now these catalog types you take and then you create the code groups for that. Edit catalogs. This is again master data. QS41 is nothing but master. Here you will maintain everything. Suppose let's say if you go to catalog type D, coding, coding. If you if you take star, enter, all will get displayed. See, all are displayed here. Are you able to see? All, all code groups. These are the ones here coming here. Are you able to see? SAP notification, SAP notification correction in SAP systems, all those things. Now, if you go to the code course, select the code group, go to the course. So these are the ones, seven, seven getting displayed. Now, if you open this coding, see these are the ones. So this is how you configure. This is how you configure the catalog profile. So whatever the values here you are able to see, those will come from. If you go to the items, code group items. So these are the ones. So these all will get picked up from catalog profile. All these will get picked up from catalog profile. So next configuration is, so whenever you create a new notification, first you define the layout. First you define the layout, then you assign the catalog profile. Okay. Now the next one will be your uh, uh, priorities. So when you are creating the notification, uh, so when you are creating the notification, again, I'm going to the notification type. Okay. So sorry, just one minute. Let me go to the overview of notification type. Or you have notification type. Okay. So again, what you are using Q2, right? Q2. If you go to Q2. So next one is a priority. Priority type. So when you, when we are when we are creating the notification, if you go to subject and then go to processing. Here you are getting the priorities, right? Very high, high, medium, low, you are getting, right? So if you see here, when I enter very high, I'll remove the dates, I'll remove this date. Okay, so when I use the very high priority, when I enter, what date it is coming? End date, required start and end date. What is the, what is the difference between start date and end date? Only one day, only one day, okay? So when I use very high, it is only one day it is taking. Suppose if I use high, the moment I enter, how many days it is taking? Two days. So that means for every priority, you will be assigning a days, number of days. Okay. So suppose if I use, I'll remove this required end. Required end I will remove. Okay. Now if I use medium, enter. Now how many days it is taking? It is taking now three days. Suppose if I use now, let's say, now if I use priority low, low. Now the moment enter, see how many days it is taking, it is taking four days. So that based on the priority that required end date is getting changed. So this in the priorities, you will define this duration. Okay. So let us go to priorities. So go to priority type. Okay. So for each quality notification, you will first you will assign a priority type, priority type. Here I am here. Our priority type is QM. Now in this priority type, you will design that you will define that four priorities and then the durations okay now i'll show you that so go back what is our priority type qm okay so let's go back 
okay so here if you go to notification creation notification content so notification type sorry notification processing define priorities just one minute response control ah here response control here if you go define priorities if you click on that here first you have priority type see what is our priority type qm so first you create you create priority type and then for this priority type you will assign the priority so next one is the priorities so you go here see what is the one we are using qm right so if you go to qm see how many are there one two three and four very high high medium low okay now if you observe for each priority there is a release date there is a date defined one very high it is one day for high it is two days for medium it is three days for low it is five days so that is what you are getting because of this here the end date okay so these will this four will come from there here very high high medium low and always these are defined in days these are in days these values are in days so this is how the priorities are configured in the system so you create a priority type in that you assign priorities and then ultimately you put that priority type uh, priority type in the notification type you will assign that to this notification type that is how the priorities are defined in the system okay now the other configuration you will be doing in case of notification is number range okay so when you are when you are creating the notification once you save it it will create a number right so that number will come from here notification content notification type number ranges define number ranges okay so if you go to the interval you, you will define an interval first you define an interval first and then for that interval you will assign to the notifications groups so these are the no, all notification types so you will assign that group to that particular notification type so this is how you define the number now any of all the number ranges whether whatever you define you will uh, same number range uh, configuration you will do for notification type so for each notification type you will have a number range so based on that it will come so other than this the configuration required is priorities response monitoring is over now the next one is a partners okay so here you have the partners right here department responsible coordinator all those things I've checked one more just one minute huh? subject processing items okay so this one the partners department responsible coordinator so those things you will do it here so if you go to again overview of notification type first okay so if you go to our, our what is our notification type q2 if you go to q2 q2 this is the one so now if you go to partner determination procedure okay so what is a partner determination procedure assigned q2 okay so we'll see what is maintained in this q2 okay so if you go to q2 go back uh, this one define partner determination procedures so if you go here define partner determination procedure q2 so quality management go to change partner okay q2 if you go to functions see only maintained is coordinator and the vendor coordinator and vendor see coordinator and then vendor so these are the ones maintained one two three four all, all are maintained so these will come from here and which one you want to maintain mandatory you can maintain it over here okay so this is the one you will do partner functions okay so now the other one will be now this partner uh, fun assign you ultimately you will assign these partner functions to the notification type partner determination procedure okay so for q2 if you go q2 if you go here you will assign already there there you are able to see this is the partner determination procedure okay so this is the configuration so now other than this uh, what configuration so remaining remaining tabs anyhow we discussed tabs anyhow we discussed okay 
so this is the configuration normally you will do okay now the status profile the status is coming right the status the statuses okay so you can have user status also here for notifications so that user status profile you will put it over here if you go to the overview notification type okay so if you go to the notification type q2 q2 where it is q2 q2 if you go to the status profile so here it is not assigned user status profile not assigned actually that's why you are not getting you can assign any user status profile okay you can assign it if you assign it now now onwards you will be getting the along with the system status you will be getting the user status also so that is the status profile you will assign it so you will be able to see here one more status profile okay so that's what now the other thing that's all this is the configuration so you whenever you create a new notification type first you will screen, define screen areas for notification header header means this one again i am repeating so whenever you create the notification you have to do all this configuration first screen layout screen layout for header for header that means this one so when i am creating it you are getting this screen right initial screen and then this normal top header so that is that first you will configure number one configuration okay sorry then the next configuration is define screen templates this one if you go here this one simplified view simplified view okay so that means this this one this one sorry these are the ones extended view all these tabs so when you go inside these tabs are coming right these tabs uh, these tabs you will define out over here all these tabs okay these tabs you will define it over here so now the next one is the tabs okay next one will be the you define number range you define number range number range okay next one will be the you define priorities priorities already explained define priorities 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 next one will be what is the next one your catalog profile catalog profile you will assign okay next one will be if you want partner functions you will assign partner function partner function and if at all you want if at all you want status profile then you will assign the status profile status profile is not mandatory if you want you can uh, you can assign user status profile you can assign if at all you want profile. so this is what this is a configuration you are you are supposed to do whenever you create a new notification type the major one is you can define the screen layouts as per your requirement that's what okay the screen these tabs and then that sub screens sub screens suppose here in this in these tabs how many sub screens are there three reference documents reference object organization three are there so this sub screens you can define as per your requirement so your client says that i don't require this organization then you can remove it or i or if you say organization i want to commit on top reference object subscreen i want to commit on down so that that kind of modifications you can do as per your requirement that's what here here where it is here so we go to general data if you go to details see these are the tabs arranged one two three four okay so this is how uh, you will be uh, doing the configuration for note notifications okay so this is the configuration you will be doing for the all the notification type whenever you create a new notification type okay now coming to the other configuration stability studies the last one will be the stability studies okay stability studies only the configuration you will be doing is storage conditions you maintain storage conditions so if you go to quality management uh, stability study okay uh, stability study basic data here you will be defining the storage conditions try to recollect uh, 
uh, what do you say stability studies class there we maintained some stability conditions so those will come from here okay if you want to create a new one you click on new entries and you maintain here okay uh, or pressure or whatever moisture whatever you want to maintain you can maintain storage conditions okay next one is the uh, what is that uh, containers physical sample container all those things you can maintain here then you can maintain samples what is uh, that scheduling testing category and all will come from anyhow plan maintenance configuration that packages durations one month three months six months that comes from your maintenance strategy that anyhow comes under the plan maintenance configuration they will be doing they will be maintaining it over there okay so that's all for the stability studies you will not be doing much configuration over there okay so this is the uh, configuration part for uh, stability studies now the other one the pending one is qm integration with other modules so we'll discuss the other modules integration this we already discussed our during our class but anyhow i will tell you again qm integration with mm first thing first thing qm with mm comes at incoming material inspection the integration is incoming material inspection inspection okay so when you are receiving the material from the vendor vendor you want to do inspection then you will be using the inspection type 0 okay so this is where your pp uh, sorry qm and mm will come into uh, integration will come into the picture okay so when you are uh, when you receive it automatically stock will go into quality and you will be getting an inspection lot that is where the integration comes into the picture okay qm and mm the business process is incoming material inspection inspection type 01 okay that is the one now coming to the pp integration of pp the business process is is in process inspection in process in process inspection during production all these things we discussed anyhow just i'm just giving you a recap in process inspection during production the inspection type is 03 okay here all the qm relevant data you will be maintaining in the uh, production routing itself okay you will maintain all the data in the routing itself in the production routing itself you will maintain all the data okay so this is one one business scenario where you have the integration of qm with pp okay now the other one is inspection at the end of the production inspection after production production okay so the inspection type is 04 this is this is the integration i'll show you some documents also this is the uh, see you as a consultant you should know for which business process what is the inspection type of course you are uh, list is available but but you should have that at least main inspection types you should know okay now the other integration part is pm plan maintenance this you know already plan maintenance the inspection which is nothing but the business scenario is business process is calibration inspection calibration inspection inspection okay inspection type is 40 here where you will do the integration i told you our pm order type you will assign our inspection type but the pm order type in the configuration you will be assigning our inspection type 40 that is where the integration happens okay now coming to your sd module integration qm with qm with sd the integration happens during two business scenarios one is inspection inspection during delivery inspection during delivery when you are delivering the product you will be you will be inspecting the material so that is inspection type 10 now the another one is inspection during customer returns customer returns customer returns okay inspection type is 06 this is where the integration happens okay only only in case of in process inspection during production you maintain all mic's everything you will be maintaining in the routing okay and one more thing is during calibration inspection all your uh, inspection relevant data you will maintain in the maintenance task list maintenance task list you are all all qm related data master inspection characteristics sampling procedure whatever is there you will maintain in the maintenance task list but remaining scenarios 
you will have normally your inspection plan. You will maintain all the data in the inspection plan, remaining all business processes. Okay, so this is the integration between QM uh, between all the other modules. If you want to check in detail, I'll show you one link. There you will be able to see. I will show you one link. 